Definitely going to save it. 60 hours. Woo! Let's go. I'm assuming 15, 20 ish hours left. Mid August. Oh, my birthday. 13th of August. It was the peak of summer, and the sweltering sun was beating down on the residents of Trista. I completely just missed what the actual day is. After returning from Heimdall, we were given a whopping five day summer vacation before the school year resumed. Like, like that's five bonding sessions with, with Emma. Like, why? <sighs> This bug is horrible. Turns Why out, have they put Thor this bug in the game? Thor sticks to its military roots, only granting extended vacations to students over the New Year's holiday. However, nobles are allowed to visit home, ostensibly to give them time to become familiar with their family's holdings. And, as you might expect, that meant most students from classes 1 and 2 spent summer away from Trista. Meanwhile, classes 3 through 5 were stuck on campus, envying the nobility as they studied and trained as usual. The other members of class 7 and I chose to stay in Trista as well, facing the heat with our fellow students. Damn. So hot, I'm dying in here. Sick of this heat already. Talking about it just makes me feel even hotter. The academy should install an orbital air conditioner at least, then it'd be a little easier to cope. An orbital air conditioner? What's that? What is this device that blows out cool air to help regulate a room's temperature? Maybe it'd help if you think of it as the opposite of a stove. Ah, some kind of wizardry. <laughs> I've heard of them, but aren't they supposed to be prohibited? 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 Prohibitively expensive. Only the most modern buildings seem able to afford that. You have one in your house? Well, there's one in the Rhineford Company's corporate headquarters. Yeah. It'd be nice if my mother could spare one, you know, for the academy she sits on the board of directors for. Seems a bit much, too much to hope for. This is a military academy, so I don't want to expect to be indulged quite that much. Still a machine to help us keep cool in the summer. Whoever first invented that should get a medal. I'll admit, summer heat here is more difficult to cope with than in Legram. As long as I think of it as another part of my train, it doesn't bother me all that much. So all we're missing is going to... So we've been to Gaius's area. We've been to Usus. We've been to Elliot's. We've been to Machina's. We sort of have been to Elissa's. But we were only there for a bit. So we've got Emma's area, Laura's area, which is called Legram. Fee, I don't think, has an area, but I'm sure something will happen. We're meeting some of the Jaegers. Uh, yeah, so the, all, the, all the guys on the right side, we still need to, you know, visit their cities and stuff. Even though, okay, sort of, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we need to go to where this is from as well. Very hard to get similar summer heat waves, but they're usually a breeze blowing in from the canyon at this time of the year. That does make summers a bit easier to manage. My hometown's up in the mountains. It's pretty cool even around this time of the year. Actually, now that you mention it, I would have thought you three would go back home for the summer, being nobles and all. You were given permission, weren't you? If everyone else was going home, I would have considered it. But in the end, I decided against it. I mean, I wasn't, it wasn't all that long ago I got to see Elise. Maybe next year. I came here to train. Until I feel like I've made significant progress, I have no intention of returning home. <clears throat> Some of you saw my father's mansion. Do you think I'd go back to a place like that willingly? I'd much rather stay here and take my chance with heat stroke. You're really that uncomfortable at home, huh? A little hotter as it is, there's a lot going on right now. I doubt all the people headed to that conference at the end of the month have much time to be worrying about the heat. You make a good point. Notice how whenever we talk about our lives and stuff, Emma doesn't say a thing. I don't think she's even mentioned where she's from. You're talking about the West Samaria Trade Conference? That's the one. Never been an international conference on that scale before, at least not in modern times. 
Mayor Daita Kra, who also happens to be an international bank of Crossbell CEO, was the one who first proposed it. All right, let's focus here. <coughs> Oliver will be attending on behalf of his majesty. So we've got four flags. Honestly, I can't remember the flags. I'm pretty sure the emperor is flags the unicorn. Because we saw that in the background. Or is he the horse? I can't remember. Chancellor Osborne's supposed to be attending too. Oh, the unicorn's not even there. Whoops. Seems crazy to think we met them both just a few weeks ago. Excuse me. Oh! Chance in particular was a pretty intimidating figure. Seemed like a big scary monster. I've heard that he served in the Imperial Army before becoming a politician. Then 11 years ago his majesty entrusted him with a position of Chancellor. Supposedly a full 70% of the Imperial Army is under his jurisdiction. His real fame comes from establishing most of the nation's railway network centered on the capital. Though he's also been responsible for annexing several smaller countries and independent states around Aragonia. I believe those all took place without any bloodshed though, at least as far as I'm aware. Huh. I wouldn't put too much stock in what he's selling. Military spending in this country has increased exponentially since he took up his position. And that's only possible thanks to the tax revenue he gleans from the people of Heimdall and those annexed nations. Well, he was the one who ordered the construction of those two railway guns. Ah, okay, so he's a... Damn, he loves his war machines. At one point, Area Bonia was on the verge of a full-scale war with Calvert because of those things. I heard it was actually Libel that proposed a way to avoid an armed conflict. They ended up signing the non-aggression pact. Yep, as I'm sure you've noticed, there's still quite a bit of tension between the two countries. I wouldn't be surprised if the issue had reared its head again during the trade conflict. Council Osborne has been a really popular figure in the capital, though. Popular enough that he seems to have a group of terrorists after him. He does seem to be the Imperial Liberation's front main target, doesn't he? Oh, I thought it was the Emperor. The Hammer of Judgment, that shall topple the Dictator. Ah. Indeed, they seem to harbour a deep-seated grudge against him. The anger seemed a bit unusual in its intensity, didn't it? He does seem like the type who'd make a lot of enemies, especially with a face like that. I'd often speak ill of my father's close ally, but... Come to think of it, isn't the instructor awfully late? Well past time for homeroom to start. Yep, should have started about 10 minutes ago. I swear that woman. She better not be sleeping off another hang over the back of the dormitory. Wouldn't put it past her. I wish I could say there's no way our upstanding instructor wouldn't do that, but I wouldn't be surprised. Excuse me? I'll have you know I did no such thing. Today. <laughs> instructor? Good morning, Instructor. Morning, everyone! Anyway, I'll have you know I've got a good reason for being late today. Oh, the school's the dragon with the horn. Uh, I'm tired. The unicorn lion thing with the horn. And that reason is... We're going to be welcoming a new classmate today. What? I wonder if it's who I think it is. The prince. What? Man, I should have no I should have I should have noticed. The extra chair next to Fee. I should have noticed. A transfer student at this time of year? S seriously? Alright. Come on in! Righto. For God's sake, really? Huh? Crow? But, but isn't he a second year student? I'm Crow Armbrust. Okay. Starting today, I'll be joining you fine folks as a member of class seven. It's gonna be pretty sweet, guys. <laughs> okay. What? What? I mean, how? The music. Are you sure you want to know? It's a long tale fraught with the intrigue of school politics. <sighs> I don't think I'd put it quite like that. Back in his first year, he slacked off so much that he ended up failing a few of his classes. 
Then he came crying to me in a panic, like, oh, help me, Instructor Sarah. They're not going <laughs> to let me graduate. <laughs> so as a special exception, he's going to be joining us for the next three months to pay for his laziness. Okay. So because he's so bad at school, we're suddenly going to put him in the class that is super important to the school a little bit weird choice a little bit of a weird choice there crow's cool there but i'm not sure i like that L that answer but all right okay just gotta be honest with you guys you can't be serious right that's an even more pathetic reason than i was bracing myself for I... I think you already know that Crow was one of the trial users for the Arcus test they ran last year. That's true, that's true. So I thought he might be a good role model for you. In that sense, anyway. And don't forget, he'll also be joining us on our future field studies, too. Nice. Looks like you saved me the trouble of having to explain it all. Okay, so he needs to change his uniform. Anyway, let's let the good times roll. Oh, and since we're all classmates now, no need for all that sweet talk and you lay on the other second years, all right? Right. I mean, it makes sense to have ten of us Easier in there. Easier said than done, I fear. If he was any more laid back, he'd be comatose. I mean, you can't really talk, V. Instructor, I can't help but notice you left the door open. Wait, is there someone else, too? Huh? Oh, God. Are you serious? Toa and Angelica, maybe? Oh, I was hoping to catch you off guard. All right. Come on in and say hello. Ugh. I thought you forgot I was out in the hall. <gasps> <laughs> there she is. What? What? You must be joking. Hey, aren't you... You're the girl we met in the Nord Highlands. Yuppers! Long time no see, guys! Yuppers! Yuppers. All right. But I see a couple of you I don't know, so I guess I better introduce myself. Genuinely looks like Fee. I'm Milliam. Milliam Orion. <laughs> and this here is Eric Gitlam. But we'll just call him Lammy for short. Why Lammy? Why not... Oh, okay, Eric get Lam Lammy, okay. Actually, yeah, Lammy's pretty cool. What the hell is that? Holy crap! <laughs> it's that thing we saw at Ark's Fort. Man, I love the twists in this game. Even when it's not the story, like, just things like this, man. Things like this is great. So this is that strange girl you met in the Nord Highlands. Oh, and a little house rule before anything gets blown up. No bringing that thing out in the classroom. If he accidentally smashes a wall or blasts through the ceiling, I'm the one who's going to get chewed out for it. Boo! Fine. Oh, poor Lemmy. <laughs> anyway. Nice to meet you guys. Uh, right? <laughs> Tell me you're kidding. Please. I really wish I could. So now we're at an odd number again? Oh. <laughs> well, I can see we're in for some fun times these next three months. There's three months left? Damn. Hey, maybe more than 15, 20 hours. So this is chapter five. One would assume there's two to three chapters left. Oh, it went past my birthday. Three days went by. First, no one was sure what to make of Crow and Intelligent Division Agent Milliam Oren's sudden transfer. Within a matter of days, it almost felt like they'd been there all along. Oh, that's cool. Oh, God. Back to school. I'm sure none of you need to be reminded that it was none other than Emperor Dreykels who ended the War of the Alliance. Did you know that historical records tell us he had amazingly few soldiers under his command? Initially, his allies numbered only a few confidence and several warriors from Nord. 
what supporters were rallied to him in each region, his rank still couldn't hope to compare to the other princes' armies. Nonetheless, they continued to advance to bring region after region. And after half, the, half a year of bloody battles, Prince Strykos met perhaps his most well-known supporter. Milliam, right? I think he's asleep. Great. What do you happen to know the historical figure to whom I'm referring to? Sure do. Leanne Sandlot, also known as the Lance Maiden. All right, you are. Sandlot was the daughter of a count who ruled over a remote region, and accounts tell us she showed great martial skill from a young age. In particular, her skill with the Lance was unparalleled. No records exist of her ever being best in combat. The Lance Maiden also had a group of mighty warriors under her command, who fought alongside her in battle. Perhaps you'd like to illuminate us as in the name of this famous band, Green. Well... Uh, group of mighty warriors led by the Lance Maiden. That's the. Are you freaking kidding me? For some reason, my gut tells me Growl Switter. I think it's Stahl. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's Eisenreiter! The Iron Knights, there we go. I knew it, I was just testing everyone watching. Uh, there are banner knights said to be able to charge across the battlefield like lightning, cut down all in their path. Correct, you've done your homework. Yeah, the Wonder and Prince met the Lance Maiden one day, during a prolonged conflict in a remote region of the country. After recognising each other as reliable and trustworthy, they pledged to fight together under a united banner. With the Lance Maiden and her knights bolstering his ranks, his army swept through one region after another. In just a year, he was able to defeat the other princes and free the imperial capital, Heimdall. As an interesting footnote, the castle that Eisenreiter used as their base of operations 250 years ago. Just so happens to be only a hop, skip and a jump away from Laura's home in Le Grand. One would assume we're going to Le Grand next. Indeed, it's known as Lohingrund Castle. It's a beautiful old building situated on the shore of Lake Ebel, to the west of Le Grand. Oh, you've mentioned that before. Does anyone live there now? No. Due to the dangerous terrain there, no one goes near it. Oh, you already know there's monsters in there. These days it exists simply as a relic of a bygone age. The Arsaid family is responsible for the care and maintenance of the castle, though. Really, only minimal work is done. Speaking of the Arsaid house, wasn't one of your ancestors the Eisenritter's second in command? Indeed. The Lance Maiden's most trusted assistant and confident from what I understand. The Sandlot family line ended with the death of the Lance Maiden. It's partly because of that that the Arsaid family mourns her death each year. Isn't her name Laura Arsaid? I think. I can't what a fascinating story. The Graham, huh? I've had a mission there, so I've never been able to go. Maybe I should have stopped by when I went to Berea Hard a while back. A while back. You'd think she'd at least try to conceal the fact that she gets sent all over the country on secret missions. I know she surely just let it slip that she was doing something in Berea Hard too. I suppose it's better than her being all distant and cagey around us. <laughs> I love how no one noticed Thingy slept. I've slept in classes before and the teachers haven't given a crap. Okay, tomorrow's a free day, which means that next Wednesday you'll have your usual practical exam. Better all bring your A-game. Oh, Milliam and Crow, a few must have instru instructional materials you guys are going to need as part of Class 7 finally showed up. I'll hand that stuff off to you once we're done here, so I want you to come with me to the faculty now. Righto. What a drag. Alright, homeroom's out for the day. Flee, flee, flee while you can. Machinus, if you'll do the honours. <coughs> What do you think? Well, I don't think we have to be on our guard around her at least. Same. I'd rather she kept that giant silver thing of hers hidden. I don't think she's a bad girl. I was taking a nap in the courtyard yesterday and she came and fell asleep next to me. Oh, What does that have to do with whether or not she's trustworthy? <laughs> they look like a couple of kittens all curled up together. Their personalities may be worlds apart, but they're both rather cat-like in their own ways. You can't be more than 12 or 13, still practically a child. Yeah, you're right. 
He's so chip all the time it's hard to really be cold towards her. Yeah, I don't think I could bring myself to spurn her. She's got this natural charm, I think. Be that as it may, her presence here reeks of blood and iron, if you take my meaning. Oh. Well? It certainly seems that way. As such, I'm planning on granting you a bit of additional assistance. I should have it ready for you in a few weeks' time. Good shout. Very good shout. Hard to believe a girl like that could be an agent of the Intelligence Division. But just going off what happened in Nord, there's not much that would make me doubt it now. And then there's that thing... Ah, get them. Oh yeah, Lammy. Besides from its name, we don't really know anything about it. it. Seems to be made from some strange material with both metallic and ceramic properties. Hard, but pliable. Agreed. Doesn't look like anything you could make, even with the most cutting edge orbital technology. When I touched it, it felt really nice. <laughs> ah, so you actually touched it? As I escaped my notice, that it seems strikingly similar to the combat shells we fight. I think it's safe to assume that they share some kind of common origin. Yep. They both have huge... Uh, never mind. It's like I said she was forced to accept it, though in a sense, Million was forced on us too. You're welcome to think what you will, but I don't trust her. Damn, useless. <coughs> Either way, she's technically our classmate now, like it or not. It may be a little early to tell whether we can trust her as a friend, but we should be able to figure out pretty quickly whether we can count on her as a member of Class 7. Well, that's a logical way of breaking it down. You're right, still pretty early to make sweeping judgments. Knowing her background would be great. What's really important is whether we can count on her in a fight. Agreed. The students of the military academy, probably the most important issue. We'll have to wait and see. Well, considering we're living in the same dorm, it'd be good if we all got along. Yeah, I wouldn't want her to think we're trying to make her feel unwelcome either. And then there's Crow. Yes, like, like everyone forgot about Crow. What's he like, Green? You seem to get along with him pretty well. I don't know if I put it like that. If I had to say, I'd describe him as a capricious gambling addict, way too prone to anti up every hand. <laughs> um, Adios, help us. He sounds like the kind of miscreant one would be better off avoiding. You can count on him when the chips are down, though. He really helped me out last month when Elise went into the old schoolhouse. He's good in the fight, pretty handy with his arcus. Hmm. Maybe we weren't over nothing. Still, I'm not really sure how to connect with him, you know? Well, at least we're in separate dorms for the time being. We'll just have to see how things go. Damn, there's so much dialogue. Oh, there we go! There we go. That's safe. I can't wait to see what's going to happen with, uh... See, if one's to think, right, if this is five chapters and it's going to go to the bottom, no way there's ten chapters. There's no way. There's no way. Crazy to think that I've only done 16 field study tasks. Uh, we have a bonding, right? Don't we have a bonding? No, we just go. Oh, tomorrow's our free day. Hello, <laughs> Reen Schwarzer speaking. Oh, hi there, Reen. Do you have a moment? Toa? Well, this is a surprise. What can I do for you? You've got a new student in your class now, right? Well, her student notebook is ready, so I figured it'd be best to get it to her as soon as possible. And since you handled it last time, would you mind coming to get it for her? Oh, you're talking about Milliam. Sure thing. I'll come get it right away. You want me to swing by the student council room? That'd be great. Thanks. She sure doesn't waste any time. I should head on over to the student council room before it gets too late. I'm not going to complain about voice acting, but the amount of stuff that should have been voice acted in this game, and that was, like, weird. I guess that was an added voice acting. Uh, okay. What have you got? No, none is worth it. Oh, one sec. Damn, not a lot. We got a lot of money though. Let's go. What the hell are all these? Do do do. Huh. 
I'm such a dirt. The door's open. Come on in. Sorry if I disturbed you. Oh, Rain. Not at all. Sorry for making you come all the way out here. At least it's all voice acted. Nice. Don't worry about it. It's class business anyway. That's quite the spread you've got on your desk there. Is it just me, or does your workload only ever seem to increase? <laughs> uh, well, I've got a little extra going on right now that's keeping me a little busier than normal. Oh, bless her. Anyway, this is Milliam's notebook. Crow's already got one, along with the added pages on the Arcus units you all have. So she's the last one who needs it. All right, I'll be sure to pass this on to Milliam next time I see her. Actually, if you don't mind my asking, how much do you know about why she's here at the Academy? Hmm, all I know is that she came with a recommendation from the Army's Intelligence Division, really. You know those combat shells you fight in your practical exams? They're being used with the Emperor's authorization. Apparently, it's something similar for Milliam. They can't deny her admission if the Emperor's pushing it through. This goes all the way up to His Majesty? Damn. Seems like it. The Chancellor was the one who set up both the Intelligence Division and the Railway Military Police. But neither of those organizations could have been established without His Majesty's consent. That's what's unusual. I wonder if we've got a worm tongue and king Feoden thing going on like this chancellor somehow has something on the emperor and the emperor just pretty much does what he says you know what i mean I i'm just thinking out loud anyway because of that the academy can't really turn down a direct referral with that kind of backing so that's how it is but even accounting for that, I never would have expected Crow to be transferred into our class, too. Yep, yeah, but great point. <laughs> yeah, I was just as shocked as you when I found out. I knew he was a habitual class cutter, but I always figured he at least had enough credits to graduate. Oh, I feel like a failure as student council president for not noticing. Maybe even a failure as a friend. W whoa there, I think you're being a little hard on yourself. What about Angelica? Does she have enough credits to graduate? Angie at least makes sure to attend the classes she needs for graduation. Apparently, Crow not only hadn't attended enough class units, he also didn't turn in some essential assignments. But as long as he's active and engaged with his Class 7 work over the next couple months, he'll be able to graduate. Ah. Still, I get the distinct feeling this one-two punch of transfer students wasn't just a happy coincidence. Oh. Am I right? Well, yeah. The principal thought placing Crow in Class 7 might be beneficial for the rest of you, too. How? To become gamblers? His grades might be a sorry sight, but he really knows how to get things done when he wants to. Did you know he was responsible for all of the event planning at last year's Academy Festival? Crow did that? Voluntarily? It might be kind of awkward having a second-year student in your class, but I hope you guys will all get along. That goes for Milliam too, of course. She might have an unusual background, but at the end of the day, she's still a 13-year-old girl. Yeah. Yeah, I get what you mean. So she really is 13 then? Yeah, she scored really well on her entrance exam though, so I think she can handle the curriculum fine. <laughs> she might be small, but she can roll up her sleeves with the best of them. Oh, Toe is adorable. <laughs> now where have I heard of someone like that before? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Looks like I've got a call coming in. Go ahead and answer. I don't mind. I wouldn't want you to miss anything important. Uh, all right. Excuse me then. Hello, Reen Schwarzer speaking. Hello, Reen. It's your favorite instructor here. Are you still on the academy grounds by any chance? As much as it pains me to say it, I am. <laughs> No need to sound so suspicious. It's just that after I gave Milliam all the things I had for her, she just took off somewhere. 
you know how she tends to be kind of a mischief maker. So could you find her and drag her back to the dorms for me? Oh, God. <sighs> All right. I can only imagine what would happen if she were to flash that silver thing of hers around on the academy grounds again. Yeah, I'd really rather avoid a repeat of yesterday. Anyway, I leave it in your capable hands, brave leader of Class 7. Mwah. My queen. Well, wait a second. When did I become the... <laughs> she really does trust you. Anyway, I'll let you go then. Are you still up for helping me with a few requests tomorrow? Of course. I'll be around. Still, I know you've got a full slate and all, but try not to overwork yourself. Playable. And if there's anything else I can do to make life a little easier for you, don't hesitate to ask. Sure. And thanks. Green's such a nice guy. Alright, I guess I better start looking for Millium. Where do I even start? She could be almost anywhere. I should probably ask a couple of the others for help. I doubt I'll accomplish much, like checking places at random. Time to think of it, I haven't gotten Pro's number yet. I think two other classmates would be enough for this, though I should remember to ask him when I get a chance. <laughs> you ain't gotta tell me twice. Um... Galora. Yeah, sorry, uh, sorry, girl. I know the game really is pushing me and you, but ah, <sighs> things are things have happened, and you know, I'm moving on. My queens. All right, I understand. Doesn't seem wise to leave on her own. I suppose the academy must have a wealth of things that are new to her. She's running around trying to make take it all in. Yeah, I think you're right. I doubt she's left the Academy Grounds yet though, so we should be able to find her. I'll just have to think, if I were new here, what would seem the most interesting? Then check all those places. 100% she's gone to the motorcycle area. I agree. Well then let's find her and bring her back to the dormitory with us. Let's do that. Tomorrow. <laughs> or next time. Oh man, it's so late. What a great session. Thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. I'm absolutely loving this game. Uh, if I sound tired, it's because I am. I've been recording for a long time. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys next time for more Trails of Cold Steel. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for being you. Be sure to like and subscribe. Check the links in the description. Follow all, the good, follow all of it. I'll see you guys next time. Take care, guys. Thanks for being you. Bye-bye.